What's up guys? I'm Preston Smiles. I'm Alexi Panos. And this is Five Ways to have an awesome holiday. Awesome holiday. That's right. So, way number one. Yes, is ask powerful, intriguing, curious questions of your grandmother, your cousins, your friends. Like, you know, like, um, remember uh, when I asked my grandma, you were with me. I was. I asked my grandmother um, how she, when she first fell in love with my grandfather. Now, they don't get along. She doesn't like him, even though he's not alive anymore. And, you know, the way I asked the question produced this powerful story where my dad even was like, dude, I've never even heard that, and that's my dad. Exactly. So, if you ask curious questions, like, you know, um, you know, Cousin Bob, you know, uh, I know that you're the fishing champion of the world, but like... What, what got you into fishing? Exactly, exactly. Or like, <laughs> When what? did that whole thing start? Yeah, the yeah. key here, guys, is we go into these situations knowing these people, and we really don't know much about our family. Yes. We know what we think we know, but if we dig deep, deeper and ask deeper questions... Which brings us to number two. Uh-oh! Which Mabu brings got us it. to number two. Mabu got it! Which is characterizations. And what this means is a lot of us come in going, oh, my dad is going to tell his stupid story again. Over I'm going to have to hear and over this stupid story and again. again. And he's going to laugh at it and it's not funny. Or, oh, my mom is totally going to do that thing that I hate and she's totally going to do it. Or Uncle Bobby is totally going to say that snarky comment. So we walk in with all these stories and the only thing that can happen is people can show up as their story. Yep. So if we drop the characterization, and we leave the space for them to show up as a brand new human being, maybe something new could emerge there. Which brings us to number three, which is... Don't talk so much. Just listen. Shut it. Just shut have some face. time where you don't talk as much. Shut your face. Shut up. You, it's already been shut. It. You shut your it's face. It's already been shut down and you shut up. that face. But seriously, don't yeah. talk so much. Just listen. Just listen to what's happening. You, first of all, it'll be hilarious. Second of all, you'll learn so much. You know, we come in from the holidays and we want to tell everybody how successful we've been and what we've been up to, but like, just get curious and listen to people. Ask questions, let go of your characterizations, and listen. Get silent, just listen to what's happening. You will be so entertained, it'll be your best holiday ever, I promise you. Ever. Uh, which brings us to number four, best holiday ever. Let's not forget gratitude, okay? Mm. Everyone's like, oh, peace and love and joy on the holidays. Yes. Screw you, asshole, you know, what's going on? Get out of my way, I'm in line on <laughs> Black Friday, and this is my sale, this is my item. Guys, gratitude. Uh -huh. Get present to what you're grateful for, for family that's still here, for the yes. time you get to spend with them, for the food, and the water, yes. and the roof over your head, all the, the basic things that we take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you're writing Christmas cards that say, I wish you peace and joy and love on Earth, really take a moment and go, Huh, am I actually giving that? Yeah. Or is this just a Christmas card thing that I do? Yep. Because that's a huge question. Like, can we actually be the space yep. for what we're wishing upon the earth? And make that physical. Like, literally, physically get up and walk over to your sister and say, you know what, you're the only person on the planet who has the same mom and dad as I do. You're the only person who can understand even slightly what it feels like to grow up the way I did. So for that and for a million other reasons, Sis, I love you, and I appreciate you. I know you have my back. I know we argued as kids, but like, I truly love and see you. Literally go to each yes. person in your family and tell them why you're grateful for them. Yeah, that would be a huge gift. You know, you don't always have to buy monetary items. Just verbally telling someone how much they mean to you is mm -hmm. the best gift ever. So if you're broke this holiday, there's your gift. Yeah, huge You're gift. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Which brings us to step number five, Oh, Johnny Five is alive. Johnny Five is alive. Uh, uh, uh. You guys remember that movie? Johnny? I love that one. That's the one where we read really fast. Yes, exactly. So, step number five is have fun. Like, just find the funny, have fun, look for ways to be silly, look for ways to crack jokes, exactly. look for ways to, like, you know, go up to your, your dad and pick him up and, like, swing him around and just, like, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> you guys, like, kind of stay totally still. Yeah, she's like, uh, uh, to But be. just, like, get physical. <laughs> like, have fun with your family and, like, find everything hilarious because you can either be annoyed by them and yeah. the stories and the characterizations or you can... Have fun with it. Find it hilarious. Yeah, and guys, like you have some days off. Enjoy your days off. Okay, everyone's like, oh, the holidays, family time, you know. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your days off. Have fun. You have one life to live. Live it. Be grateful. Love your family. 
drop those characterizations, stop talking so much. And what was the first one? Ask powerful questions. And that too. Yeah, do all that stuff. Guys. Okay, we love you. We love you, and really, when, it, real. when it comes down to it, and like this is a serious moment for both of us right now, when it comes down to it, seriously, family's all you got. Yeah. Whether that's adopted family or blood family, when it comes down to the come down, I've seen people get hurt and they don't call on the people they went to college with, they call their mom and dad, they call their cousins, they call their brothers. When people get sick, you don't call, you know, the people you golf with, you call your family and you say, I need your support. Yeah, and I, I'm going to throw this one out here. You don't call your 3,000 friends on Facebook, okay, or Instagram. You go to the people in your life that truly, that you spend time with, that you have coffee with, that you eat food with, go to those people and just share your gratitude because they're there for you and you get to be there for them this holiday. Yep. All right, love you guys. Love you guys. Go to alexiandpreston.com for yes. more information. We oh love yeah, you. and we actually have a really cool video there that nobody has seen yet Woo! except for people at a conference. Yeah. So you should check that out if uh, you wanna see it. Alexiandpreston.com. Uh, and up you go away. Bye. Okay, now we're going to sleep. All right, deuces.